I think, again, because while we're here at China Connect about the social and digital media age, I think um, Chinese people are being able to consume music at a quicker pace. So, you know, when artists release a song or an album, they are also getting it in China now, whereas in the past it might have taken a lot longer to get there. Weibo users are much more younger than before, and maybe tier two, or tier three, or tier four cities. So that's entertainment-related content that they are most focused on it. Yes. So. I think um, because of the Korean popularity of dramas and film, and, and also music, um, Koreans have more opportunity to uh, engage into into the into the Chinese market and, and do a lot better because of the success of the past. I think for the music itself, what they really appreciate uh, beyond uh, the music in itself, I think it's the dancing. Uh, they really like this uh, pre-digested American culture that they perceive through the, the K-pop music. Uh, it's more acceptable. If you look at the lyrics uh, in K-pop music, it's, more, it's less about uh, violence, less about sex. It's the same as for TV series. So it's American culture very entertaining, but accept more acceptable for Chinese. I think this is why it's so impactful in China. We have purposely brought the very best uh, Asian, Chinese, and international artists to play in Mercedes-Benz Arena. I would say about 70% is Asian music content and about 20% is international music and about 10% is sport. It doesn't matter if it's Chinese artists or K-pop or J-pop or the best artists from the US or, or the UK. Uh, they just want to see whoever their favorite artist is today. Uh, brands are selling entertainment. They are selling an image, they are selling an idea of what's fun. And this is exactly why there's a real synergistic uh, symbiosis with games, because games is a perfect medium to actually create that experience and even to maintain it uh, over time and maybe even um, to sell products uh, through the game. This is what we did with KFC in China using the band EXO, which is a very famous uh, Korean pop band, um, to build a really cool game uh, that involved also people buying meals um, at KFC to unlock levels of the games and they did because we generated um, over 20 years of gameplay accumulatively uh, within the first two weeks of launch and I think now after one month we're already at 30 years accumulative gameplay and it keeps on going on and on and on. To me it's really surprising uh, that brands see mobile games like Candy Crush, like uh, Angry Birds, like Clash of Clans and many others build enormous entertainment brands for themselves with fairly small budgets and not get into the game of games more.